Hey everyone, this is Eric back with All Replay Man, and I'm going to get back on this 2008 Dodge Nitro. And the parts for the automatic transmission filter and pan has come in, so I think I'm going to go ahead and tackle it. Basically, it's just taking the bolts off the pan, letting it drain, take, taking the filter out, putting the new filter back in. We've got to coat the seal of the filter, the o ring, then put a gasket on the pan and putting the pan back in, make sure we don't get any kind of like you know, like uh, debris in there or any kind of fibers from cleaning it out, anything like that. So just gotta be super careful and then put some ATF4 back in it. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. I mean, we got the parts, we're gonna go ahead and do it and knock it out. So you see my garage is looking, you know, full of tools, got everything pushed all the way back here, you know, from kids toys, you know, ATV and stuff like that. But for this job, it's not gonna really be much. I gotta go ahead and send this rack back. This is the old rack. and. Uh, Cardone would actually uh, take this back. I just got to ship it to him. I got to look up what it takes to send that back. And then, you know, if you haven't seen that, you go back like three videos and you'll see the replacement on the steering rack. But um, I'll work on that. But um, we're just going to move this out of the way in the lawnmower and all this other stuff. But here is the actual parts that came in. And this is the filter for the ATF, the automatic transmission fluid uh, filter uh, transmission. And it should be the correct one, so I'll make sure before we get into it. But this is the O-ring that, you know, you probably want to coat with some good ATF real quick. I think I got a whole bottle left. Um, there's like a bottle right here that's got some in it. And then um, I'll see if I got a brand new one or not. But this is the gasket right here. And then this is a new pan. I got this off of eBay. So I think that should be fine, man. You know, and that's the reason I got it is because it has a brand new pan because mine's getting all rusted out. And I'll see if it has a magnet inside of the old one and we'll transfer it over. But if not, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't even look like it has a drain bolt on it. So like basically you just loosen the bolts and you know, I really don't care for these cause you got to loosen like, you know, three quarters of uh, the size, like do like three sides and then kind of like tilt it and let it drain. And then it kind of makes a little bit of mess, but I got this big old drain pan here. So that's going to catch a lot of fluid. You might as well go ahead and knock it out, man. Probably take me like, an hour or whatever but i could let it drain while we're doing other stuff and everything like that so let me go ahead we're going to go ahead and clean all this out pull the car in set it right here and get it ready light on underneath here so you can see this pan and see we go from there all right so you can see this is the old transmission pan uh, right there you know it's all looking kind of rusty and everything but uh let me find out what boat uh or socket to go ahead and take these off and get started we'll put a drain pan all right so it looks like a 10 millimeter is the actual size of the socket it fits under nice and snug this is also not terribly hot so we're going to go ahead and start loosening up all these bolts. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're just kind of hand tight. Um, and we'll put it back snug like that. So we'll go ahead and work on getting all these loose. I'll probably just start taking like all these. They're the furthest away away from me out. And I want to put this drain pan underneath so that way it'll kind of pour out this side you know what i mean pull try to pull the pan down away from me and uh we'll see if it has a magnet in it if not i may be able to put a magnet on the very bottom just get like a very good one from harbor freight man i think they sell like a five ten dollar one that you know, we just put right there be fine and uh that way it'll catch any particles and stuff like that so uh let's go ahead and wrench on this just be careful that we don't mess up any boats you know they do have some rust on them a little bit but yeah just kind of easy on it you know for sure uh let me see if i get this camera set up and we'll go ahead and speed through this so go ahead and get this done 
I just want to show y'all, man, look at that nice drain boat and washer on that oil pan. And you can probably see that oil filter right there. It's not leaking. The new rack is in. I got to still work on putting those uh, clamps on the either side of the um, uh, those uh, bushings right there. But I just want to show you, man, it's looking good. Just slowly but surely take a little time. So I'm going to go ahead and work all these boats out. Just doing them by hand, taking my time with it, not getting in no rush. I definitely don't want to break a boat and just put a little pressure on it to release it, you know? And, uh, yeah, that's why I like doing things by hand. It takes a little bit more time, but I have more control over it. So let me go ahead and get these remaining boats out, then we'll go from there. Man, I started looking at this new one, just making sure that's the same fitment. Everything fits the same, but it's got a drain boat on it, man. No one doesn't, but this is nice. This would be nice if I ever do this again. I don't know, but that's a nice little added feature to have, you know? All right, so going around this thing, we got all, y'all can see it. I probably can't, but uh, all the boat holes should be out of it. Uh, it's just looking gnarly. It, it's hard to see because it's kind of dark underneath this car, but uh, everything is out of it. So we're going to get something to kind of just briefly pry on it gently and try to break the seal on one of these corners to get it to drain well y'all missed it but man i popped basically i took my hammer just kind of pried a little bit on it and the whole thing popped and man that's all on my floor and stuff oh god yay this is what happens when they don't put a drain boat on it yay so let me see if i could get a towel or something and oh good god <laughs> so uh i mean there's a ton of more fluid in here it's just kind of just sitting i don't want to just break all of it loose but uh let me see if i can clean up this mess because this this tarp is not going to hold it at all so you can see this is what i was trying to do is have it go towards one corner and drain out so i'm gonna let it drain slowly I'm gonna fill up this drain pan and then I'm gonna take one more bolt on this corner over here out. All right, so the pan is down. I'm gonna let this drain for a little bit. Then we're gonna pop that filter out and put the new filter in. Clean everything up, put the new pan back on and get some new fluid. But yeah, it was definitely time for a filter and fluid change. It is looking pretty gnarly in there. All right, so you see we got the transmission filter in. So after looking at it, it looks like, if I get y'all in here, there's uh, some torch bits, one here and one uh, on this side. Y'all can see it. It's hard for me to get right in there. So let me get that torch bit, get it loose. And it's about nine o'clock. I had to roll up to O'Reilly's. <laughs> All right, everyone, so I just got back from O'Reilly's, man. And, you know, thank God I stay open until like 10 p.m. so I can go ahead and knock this out. I went and got four quarts of ATF plus four. I did some research online. It says it tastes like four and a quarter. So I still have three quarters from the actual uh, power steering, you know, right there with the Fram. So I'm gonna use that three quarters. And I got a T25 and a T27. I know it's one of the torque spits in between both of them. So go ahead, I think it's T25. Let's see if it works and go from there. All right, so it is the uh, T25 right there. So we go ahead and uh, knock out those two Torch spokes on there. All right, so taking this last boat and this filter should just come right out. I'm pretty sure that it's looking pretty bad in there. Uh, hopefully this will clean up some of the shifting issues. If not, I'm look at getting a, a rebuilt TIPM. Um, so let me see, this should just kind of pop out of the place. This is a mess. Hell with it, I'm already dirty. There we go. There we go. Yeah, got you some fluid. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this mating surface. Uh, I just got a paper towel. Make sure I don't use any kind of blue rag or anything that's gonna have some lint in it. So I'm gonna make sure all this is nice and clean. Uh, let it kind of just drain for a little bit. Get some of these droplets off and um, we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to make sure this thing is free of any lint, dirt, anything like that. 
We'll coat a little bit of transmission fluid. I probably got some right here on me. <laughs> uh, around this O-ring, I'll just use that. We'll get it all nice and coated and we'll reseal it and put the screws back in and look at putting the gasket on in the new pan. Make sure you watch out for this. You see on my finger right here, the old O-ring was still stuck in there. I had to pull that out. So I'm gonna take that out because <laughs> this wouldn't push up in there. So we'll go ahead and see if I could do this one hand and push the new one up in this place. It should just kind of just slide up in there. <sighs> yeah, because it wasn't going before. <laughs> It was because that O-ring was in there. Pretty sure. Oh, that one's popping off. Let me do this two hands. All right, so we got the new one installed. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up these bolts. So same thing, we'll make sure this pan is clean. No dust, debris, anything on there. We'll go ahead and set the gasket on here and uh, make sure the maintenance surfaces are clean also. Um, I'm just using a paper towel because it doesn't have like a lot of lint. And um, just make sure so let me get this on and we'll put some fluid in it. All right, so y'all check out the new pan, man. I use the same boats, man. I mean, it'll be fine. And yeah, this one's got actual drain boat right there. But I went through and torqued their thing. I mean, I didn't torque it, but I just went by hand and you can see the gasket. I think it's definitely good because I don't want it bulging out too much there. So we're gonna put some fluid in it and uh, we'll run it a little bit. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take this, it says dealer use only. But it uh, looks like this is the dipstick hole for the transmission fluid. I'll check it, just make sure it's going to the transmission and we should be good. You know what, I forgot to put the magnet on the new one. So I think I'm gonna take it back off Put this magnet in i may google see if i can put it on the bottom but it does go inside so let me just take it back off put it on the side all right now that I got magnet in <laughs> you know if anything's worth doing once you may as well do it right you know so before i had the fluid in there it's going take it back out and put the magnet in this place so went ahead did it you know it took extra 20 minutes and I lost the magnet. <laughs> it was on the exhaust, but go and put some fluid in it. We're gonna crank it up, move it out, call it a night. But well, that's it for this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Like, share, subscribe. We'll check it out tomorrow.